The custody of the Holy Land is multiplying its effort to expand and promote the Terra Sancta Museum, a museum that has always contributed to preserving the cultural and historical heritage of the Holy Land, as well as strengthening the local Christian identity. The second section of the Terra Sancta Museum we are planning to open will be divided in two sections, two different kinds of the Christian presence in the Holy Land. The Christian presence through the pilgrims, that is very important, but also the presence of the local Christian that live in the Holy Land. So there will be room dedicated to the art craft of the Mother of Pearl, that is very important in Palestine, and also these kinds of uh, hat and jewelry that are very important in the Palestinian tradition in the weddings. Thanks to recent studies conducted by researcher Georges al ama an expert on Palestinian art, a collection of jewellery and clothes expressing the ancient local culture will be on display. These treasures belong to the Palestinian cultural heritage and help to document the relationship of the custody of the Holy Land with the local Palestinians. Here we see three very important headpieces, one of which was used in the villages round Hebron and two in Ramallah. These are unique pieces of Palestinian clothing that are among the rarest in the world. There are only 12 examples of this type in the whole world and all of them are traceable. Among these rarities we have this piece that is 90% complete. It is a headpiece dating back to Ottoman times that we call Wukiyat Adarahem, made of 3,000 to 4,000 pieces of silver. In the past, it was given to the bride on her wedding night by the sheikh head of the village. Every village had one. During Ottoman rule, coins were often used in the creation of jewelry and were sewn into headdresses. أن هون مجموعة ضخمة ونادرة أيضا من الحلي الفلسطينية المصنوعة من الفضة الخالصة عنا البغمة. We also have a large and rare collection of Palestinian jewelry made of pure silver. There is Al Bagma, which the Palestinian woman wore around her neck, and Al Zinak, which was worn on the chin and connected with pieces to the head through the shatwa of the city of Bethlehem. We also have other pieces such as the hoop that was placed over the shatwa and some jewellery such as earrings and other items. As an expert in this field, what attracted my attention the most was the wonderful, meticulous and scientific work done by the sisters. These rare pieces of art were in fact restored by the sisters adorers of the Blessed Sacrament, a congregation present at the Milk Grotto near the Church of the Nativity. The Terra Sancta Museum highlights the deep bond between the local faithful and pilgrims from all over the world. A bond that, on the one hand, has contributed to enrich the history of the local church in the Holy Land, and on the other to strengthen the bond between the living stones and the Franciscan custody of the Holy Land.